Gentlemen, now that it's autumn, it's time to start thinking about pulling out that warmer wardrobe. And that's what we're going to talk about. Dressing for autumn with autumn colors, here on Big Pretty Man. Hi, and welcome back to Big Pretty Man, a channel for the extra large man who wants to live his life large and in charge. I'm your host, Timothy Big Pretty Crow. I'm a wardrobe and lifestyle consultant for the extra large man. Well, gentlemen, it's finally my favorite time of the year. It's autumn, also known as fall. All oh, the air is so nice and crisp and cool. The rains are coming in, making things a little a little wet and, and nice and sometimes even a little chilly. You know, all the, the beautiful leaves are out and all those bright colors. You know, just this patchwork across, across the landscape. It's my favorite time of the year. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. And of course, now is the time to be putting away all of our summer, uh, you know, all this all of our summer wardrobe and pulling out the fall and autumn wardrobe, which also can also kind of carry over into winter. And you know, the thing is about uh, a fall wardrobe is that it's a chance to one pull out some heavier fabrics, something things much more warm, but also to pull out uh, more of the fall colors. Now. A lot of people seem to think that fall colors have to be drab and dreary. You know, a lot of grays and, and blacks and dark browns. But you know what? That's not fall. That's not autumn. Look around. Look at the trees. The, it, the fall is vibrant with color. You know, uh, bright oranges, bright, bright yellows, bright uh, maroons and reds, bright even some still bright pine greens. And still some green foliage out there. It is, you know, you and some some uh, beautiful uh, slate blues, and and it is a beautiful uh, uh, color field time of the year. So why in the world would you want to dress drab and dreary? You know, it's time to pull out those those uh, those autumn colors and take advantage of them. It's a very colorful time of the year, not a drab time of the year. So therefore, you know, you, we we should start looking at how to dress the best and look the best in in the autumn. Now let's talk about some warmer fabrics for the autumn. Of course, throughout the summer months we were wearing, you know, cotton blends and linen, things that, that kept us cool during those hot months. However, here in these colder days of autumn, when the temperature is dropping to lower 50s, 40s, even the third starting to hit the third the upper 30s Fahrenheit, it's time to you know start dressing warmer. And of course, that is what you want to project during these months is warmth. Uh, autumn is the time to show warmth in, in your in your dress. So you want to use warm warm uh, um, cloth, and you want to use warm colors and patterns. So of course, I guess when it comes to warm uh, clothing, uh, wool is king. You know whether from be from. Uh, be, be from wool sweaters to tweeds, uh, you know, to, to flannels, you know, the <laughs> wool rules the day, especially with classic menswear. And of course, you know, you, um, you do want to, you know, uh, pull out the, these, these tweed jackets. They, uh, tweed jackets look very, very thick and, 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 and very, uh, very textured. Uh, and of course, you, you know, with the, the, it's time to also pull out, as I said, the sweater, the, the cashmere sweaters and the you know and also even with your t some wool ties however you can also use kind of a rougher silk tie to give that kind of nice textured look you know i actually think they look better and they're a little less hot and and uh, and, contro and controllable than a uh than a wool tie but that's the basically the overall look you want to go for is is kind of warm and fuzzy <laughs> and we're big men, so we want to look nice and warm and fuzzy. Big cuddly bears. <laughs> you know, so so um, now one thing I will say, and that is for extra large men, is that I, for, I, I love tweed, but um, like a lot of big men, tweed makes me hot. And that's one of the problems with autumn is that it is, it's cool and crisp, but it's not really super cold especially if you're a big guy you've already got a, you already got your own layer of heat and insulation that you you put on yourself so you know a lot of times it's really easy to put on this and get just burning hot so therefore what i do recommend for extra large men is to kind of mix your 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 um your fabrics you can still go with something 
like what I'm wearing now, which this is not a tweed. This is this is a, a cotton blend uh, jacket. So so you know it is a little cooler than if I was wearing tweed, but it's still got a you know still got the nice look. But I'm counteracting that that with, with a with a wool uh, um, sweater vest. So you know you can play it, play the play. You can play with it, you, you know, and still want to project that look. Now, being as we're talking about uh, woolen type of fabrics, this is the time of year that you and you want to go for warmth. As I said, this is the time of year you want to really focus on patterned clothing. You know, this is the time to really pull out. Uh, the plaids to really pull pull out the tartar designs, you know the patchwork looks. In fact, I think the patchwork look really, looks really nice in, in the fall in in the fall autumn, whatever you want to call it, because it kind of gives you know with different patchwork colors, you know calico like colors, it can actually kind of give you that feel of fallen uh, leaves that have changed color. I think that's really nice. So and and being as now that we've talked about the, the fabrics, let's also talk about um, the colors. Now, as I said earlier, uh, you know, too many people think that, you know, it's fall, it has to be drab. No, fall is the, is the time of a thousand colors throughout the trees. You know, red, reds and, and, and uh, reds and, and oranges and, and, and bright yellows. So, and greens, and of course, browns. And definitely you want to play with that. Now, a good way to, to do that is to mix darker colors with brighter colors, but even with the brighter colors, you want you you want you're looking at colors because of the time of year, and you want to have a warm look. You want it to be a little darker, so therefore you want to look at colors that have that are, are shaded colors. You know, shaded colors on the color wheel, are, of course, uh, a color that's mixed with some black. So, therefore, you want to look look for those type of fall colors, uh, the shaded colors for like uh, mustards. And you know you can use bright ye bright yellow as well. Don't you leave that you leave that out. But normally, like like mustards, um, uh, you know um, maroons, pur purples, um, dark you know dark reds. Th those type you know bra browns, pine greens, you know olive greens. Those type of those type of you know burnt oranges. Those type of colors are much more say fall. They also because they're darker, you know, in in in, in their tinge that makes them convey warmth. Darker colors convey warmth, and actually they do even make you a little warmer <laughs> because of the they absorb sunlight. So it, it has both a practical and a stylish um, um, purpose. So, so I highly recommend that you start looking at these, at these different colors. Now, especially when it comes to your, um, your tweed jackets or jackets in general. You know, look like I said, there's what you want to look for for uh, check patterns, and window panes, and tartans, and, and you know, and plaids, and these different types of of darker shaded colors. You know, but yet those colors can still look very vibrant and bright. Yeah, you, you know, when, when you're out and about and, and, and still look warm. So you want to look bright and colorful, but warmer colors. And that's going to really make you look good, good, in, the f good in the fall. Now, let's also talk about some of the accessories. And once again, we're going for, you know, lo looking warm. Now, first, of course, I'm going to start with hats. And this is the perfect time for your, your, um, uh, for, for your flat caps. You know, so a good woolen flat cap with maybe, as I said, a, a, tar a tartan or a plaid design, or even like this, which is a herringbone. You know, not, this is the time of the patterns, and always remember that. So, you know, and actually, like I said, one of those patchwork type of um, um, uh, caps, uh, flat caps, they really look, they really look nice. and really kind of go with your outfit. Now, of course. <laughs> refer back to my color wheel and you want to be coordinated with this with your colors um, as, I, as I said you don't want to look you know be too much in a thousand different patterns so I would actually recommend for especially this time of year to refer back to my video on the color wheel as well as on how to match patterns during the fall 
it's, that's going to be extremely important because this is the time for wearing patterns, and rather the, and more patterns than you would wear solids. Those solids are also fine. Um, now, but like I said, let's, uh, let, when we talk about our accessories, this is time to be pulling out the scarves, to pulling out the gloves, you know, the, the, uh, and, and the hats. And of course, a not, you know, like with this ensemble, a nice um, um, scarf can really set, it, uh, set everything off. So, you know, you know, you know, so, you know, throw that on, looks great. Throw, throw it over the shoulder, you know. You know, you look, you look very warm. So these type of accessories, you know, and it's, once again, it's throwing a little more pattern, throwing a little bit more color into your outfit. You know, it keeps you from look. it makes you look warm and colorful, but it doesn't make you look drab. And who the hell wants to look, look, dra look drab? Now, another, uh, pa another uh, type of color that a lot of people seem to miss during the, uh, during the fall, and that is blues. Now, if you, but you look at nature, especially this time of year, both the sky is kind of a grayish blue with the storms, you know, the, uh, the, shadows, uh, the shadows of the day, uh, you know, also, uh, you know, so there are a lot of blues and also kind of off blues, the things like slate color, you know, slate color and, and, and dark, dark, um, kind of a darker, darker blues, you know, so, you know, and those look, those look also, they look warm, but they, you know, they also kind of look a little more rugged. And when you're dressing more in a casual style, this is the time I really um, endorse wearing denim. Denim has a great rugged um, fall look, you know, uh, whether it be, you know, whether it be jeans or actually jackets. And I actually do recommend getting yourself a, a denim, denim, denim jacket with, with, with the fleece collars. I think that they, they look fantastic for this time of year. Throw on, of course, use your accessories to throw some color in there. You know, whether, you know, throw like a, a, a plaid or, or tartan um, scarf, you know, same thing, or, or throw on a, a, a more colorful um, uh, flat cap. Also, when it comes this time of the year, it, you can start looking at um, the different types of hats. This is the time to be pulling out uh, the big hat. So, you know, whether it be your... your um, Fedoras, fedoras look great this time of year, and don't just go with the browns. You know, get get some in a gray, get some in a dark blue. You know, that can that can actually looks really good in the in the mix of of fall colors. So, you know, you you can play with this. That you can look very stylish. Now, uh, so you know, think about your hats, think about your accessories, think about the patterns. You know, and and the uh, darker shades. Uh, of color colors from the color wheel uh, that really make you look warm and you know uh, make, make you look warm but yet colorful uh, so that you don't look drab at this time of the year now last thing I'll talk about would also be uh, well two things um, coats this is the time to, of, co of course to be pulling out the the overcoats the pea coats uh, the you know and and the thick coats like I said with the denim jacket but uh, you know, also you know, um, it's a time. It's a time to be thinking about your footwear. And you know, at this time, you know, this time of year, you can still, of course, always wear uh, a dress shoe. And dress shoes are going to look very good with those type of outfits. However, it's also a good time to be pulling out the boots. You know, a good chuck of boot is going to look good and be much more durable and, and um, better for for the weather. The wet, you know, the wet and cold weather. Than, than your um, than your dress shoes. Also, I'd bear in mind, especially if you live in a city like I do, that they you know, or even in the country, that you know, uh, we in places you have severe winters, they start throwing that salt around, and man, can salt do a number on your on your leathers, you know, <laughs> on the leather of shoes. So you start getting that white those white tinges to it. So this is uh, not always is a time to maybe pull out a bit of more of a rugged leather boot. Uh, even though even stylish, um, but also keep an eye on your leathers this time of the year. You're gonna, you know, this is probably a, a good time just before the fall to be throwing a good um, a layer layer uh, of of wax on them from from from, from uh, a good a good shoe shine. Yeah, and and also don't forget to shoe shine your boots. So um, so you know when 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 it comes to fall, when it comes to autumn. Don't be thinking, oh, drab and dreary and depressing. That's going to make you depressed. Think vi the vibrant colors of autumn, and, and make sure that you're, you know, the and the warmth 
uh, you know, of the fireside that everyone seeks in these crisp times of the year. And reflect that in your clothing. So once again, uh, dark, darker, darker shaded colors, but a lot of colors use a lot of, of, of those colors in different pat matching up patterns. Throw those patterns in on your uh, on your accessories like your scarves and your gloves and your hats. You know, um, you know, kind of you know, kind of show the you you can use it to use a bit of a rugged look with denim. So you know, there are a lot of options, a lot of things to play with during the autumn autumn uh, years to make you look good. Okay, guys, that's all I've got this time for uh, for dressing for autumn. Just remember to keep your to stay bright and vibrant uh, during these these cooler and crisp years. Reflect the warmth and the color of the season, you know. And also, I would I'd like to remind you that if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I'd I'd love to have you. Please, you know, hit this King Henry head with my pretty face. And also I'd remind you that I have another channel where I explore um, um, all sorts of different topics over at uh, Lessons from the Purple Chair. It's a channel I just started a couple weeks ago and I'm really having a lot of fun with it. You know, I'm talking about Bigfoot and and um, uh, ghosts and a lot, you know, and you know, and history, and I'm covering a lot of different topics. So you know, uh, I'll put a link down below. So that, and please shoot over there and give me a subscribe there too. If you haven't subscribed to Big Pretty Man, then you can make this a this a double. Hit this one hit and, and get on it at uh, um, Lessons for the Purple Chair. You know, make it a twofer, a, a double dose of Big Pretty. <laughs> no, if that sounded right. <laughs> but either way, you know what? Uh, get out there, put on some some the, some rich, warm uh, clothing. Wear some some uh, br some bright and, and but warm uh, fall colors. And while you do it, you stay pretty. Mm -hmm.